like it was gorgeously bloody. <laughs> Aloha, everybody. I am Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on Twitch and TikTok at Lehua Superfina. We are going to talk about Kaiju number eight, episode nine. Yo, the Toshikawa base got invaded. So last time we saw Kafka grapple with his newfound abilities and face off against the formidable vice captain Hoshina. Now the stakes are even higher as a force of monstrous wyvern kaiju attacks the Tachikawa base. Tachikawa. Tachikawa base. Yes. Now this wyvern battle this episode throws us headfirst into a thrilling area of war. The wyvern kaiju are forced to be reckoned with, yo. But their unusual behavior throws a defense force off balance. Kafka enters the scene and he explains that their behavior is off because normally, yes, they do show up in dozens but they're on their own they don't act as a group so enter shinomiya the defense forces rising star yes she is the rising star we witness her unleash her deadly new weapon the squadron style axe technique and decimate the wyverns with brutal efficiency this sequence is jam-packed with action and showcases Shinomiya's badassery. We also delve deeper into squadron style, the elite fighting style used by defense force officers. Shinomiya's axe technique is particularly fascinating, offering her a range of powerful attacks like the falling thunder and water skimmer. And in this episode, sheds light on the power and discipline required to master these techniques. So, Shinomiya is considered as the third strongest officer of the defense force. So, they acknowledged her strength and bestowed her this battle axe. She literally looks like a grim reaper with it. And the way the weapon looks, her attacks reminds me of the game God Eater. Also, the reason why Shinomiya had to jump in is because the wyverns do have a weak point, which is their back, because the skin is thinner there, and the rest of their body, the skin is thick, like armor. And so, because they normally work alone, Kafka advised the 3rd Division to try attack the back. And they thought they could do like 2 one, one where one is like the decoy in the front, and the other finds a way to attack the backside of the Wyvern Kaiju. They tried doing that. However, the Wyvern Kaijus were acting as pairs or they were protecting each other, which is super unusual for them, according to Kafka. And that's where Shinomiya jumped in. She's like, let's do my style. And she just went forward face to face with them. And then she swings down her battle ax and just destroys the front armor. Like it was gorgeously bloody. <laughs> And then that's where third division took this opportunity to have her as like a tank and the others would be like DPSs. So as a tank, she'll keep the wyvern's attention, attacking them from the front. And then the others would try attack from the back, like how Kafka advised them to. All the while, while the wyverns occupy the sky, Vice Captain Hoshina confronts 
the terrifying opponent, a humanoid kaiju with immense power. Apparently, this is the kaiju that was leading the wyvern kaiju. Because the wyverns don't normally work as groups, that meant that something powerful dominated them and led them. Additionally, something intelligent had to have led the wyverns to the Tachikawa base. Mm hmm. This humanoid kaiju is powerful and intelligent. And this is likely kaiju number 10. And the battle between Hoshina and this kaiju is brutal and intense. We see Hoshina push his suit to its limits as he unleashes his devastating sword slayer technique. The animation during this fight is top notch, showcasing raw power and desperation of both combatants. Like Hoshina's eyes, not only are they open, they're also have like rings in the eyes, making it look like he's crazy going berserk it's gnarlio then we got kaiju number 10 he's so excited that he's yelling out rivals 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 it's because the way he entered he was saying are you the strongest and push is like I'm the second strongest, but I'm the strongest right now. And so as they're battling out, Kaiju number 10 is like, wow, yes, you are strong. I am impressed. And both parties go full on. Like, Hoshina goes 92% with his suit. So Hoshina is kicking butt. And when we think Hoshina might have gained the upper hand, Kaiju number 10 undergoes a horrifying, 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 horrifying transformation. It's gnarly because Hoshina was able to like cut his head and it's like falling, like hanging just by like skin. And we see it somehow morphing. Because its core was exposed and it starts morphing like it's trying to protect itself. And it was really similar to Kaiju number nine, how Kaiju number nine was using dead Kaiju, like corpse, Kaiju corpse to cover itself, to protect itself and then heal itself. Kaiju number 10 just started morphing like its cells was multiplying and then these bulb-like spores like pop up with mouths and then they just spew out gas, which I want to say looks like spores to me. To me, they look like spores. And then it transformed into a giant kaiju. Now this monstrous evolution hints at a potentially devastating threat lurking on the horizon. The episode ends on this chilling cliffhanger, leaving us wanting more. While the spotlight does shine brightly on Shinomiya and Hoshina, episode 9 also offers a glimpse of Kafka's growth. He demonstrates increased control over his kaiju form, using it strategically to assist his comrades. He was able to transform just his legs so he could run faster and jump further. This scene hints at the vast potential within Kafka and the exciting possibilities of his future development. This episode delivers a perfect blend of action, character development, and a looming sense of danger. The battles are thrilling, the techniques intriguing, and the introduction of Kaiju number 10 sets the stage for an epic confrontation to come. So what did you guys think of the episode? Did you enjoy the wider fight? What are your predictions for Kafka's future? What did you think about the fight between Hoshina and Kaiju number 10? Let us know your comments below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like it.
if you also want to dive into more to anime and manga i also host podcasts across worlds where we like to read a lot of manga watch a lot of anime and talk about for hours and we also interview people in the anime industry so if that's what you're interested in check out the description below to the link of the podcast we're available on all platforms other than that my name is lehua and this is the superfina channel doing a recap slash review of kaiju number eight episode nine hope you guys like this and we'll see you on the next one ahoy ho